Dr. Ni, and the title of my channel is, as you know, Awakening Literature Film. Today, I would like to talk about the core or the nuclear part of this talk, uh, this issue, and <clears throat> all of this, not only including literature and film, <clears throat> but all of the elements of our daily life, uh, including meditation, actually, and uh, awakening issue that uh, you can obtain in whatever way. First, what is transcendence and truth? What is truth? In other words, as you know by now, because I know there are so many Westerners, including like uh, more than 20% of the whole population of the United States, what is Buddha, what is uh, law or what is, I mean, the true law, not the phenomenal law or legal law, but uh, what is true transcendence? Now, especially because in philosophy and metaphysics and uh, uh, connected parts, transcendence has been a lot of problem and it started to be acknowledged so after the end of the Second World War. Because as Jack Derrida says, uh, the, a, uh, one of the beginners of the uh, postmodernist, which is called the beginning point that is called deconstruction, what matters is really called transcendental signified. There's only one uh, signifier, and then it's transformed into the signified, which is the uh, object's thinking, an idea or thought. But Derrida says, well, it's not so. Ferdinand de Saussure was wrong to say this. And he said, it's not that this kind of way can be happen or cannot be happen, but he says it does not happen, never happens because the, there's no transcendence that is signified. Transcendental signified is nothing. Uh, so literature and film op appears to transform in, into story and uh, carry uh, that out in the story and, and in the meanings of the words and the scenes and so on and so forth. Now, first, what is truth and transcendence? First of all, uh, when the runners run like a uh, hundred meter or 10, hundred meter or kilo, kilometer or so, you can say, oh, runner A is transcending now runner B in speed. Now, uh, it's really uh, should be applied to mind, right? Our mind. So transcendental mind means, uh, I can show you this. I would like to show you this again uh, here. Uh, in Yang again. So everybody wants to place him or herself here, not here, so that he or she can feel superiority, not inferiority. Uh, so he wants to have more money, a billion dollars, and then it lasts like a, a month or so, let's say. Uh, and then after a month, he disappointed on himself because he knows 
he reaches the point that where he knows <laughs> uh, there are 10 billion pe people who have 10 billion dollars and more than that. A huge group uh, of people. And then he feels suddenly inferiority. Is that right? No. He's not happy here. Okay. He used to ignore the poor people, look down upon the poor people, but he himself is still rich phenomenally, but phenomenally he feels inferiority when he looks up the rich people. Now, it comes to uh, conscience mind too, conscientious mind, conscience. In other words, oh, I'm right. I'm a good person and I'm a bad person. And uh, I should respect these people, but uh, I don't how poor mind I have and so on. And this he, here, uh, I'm too, maybe I'm too conscientious. So these people deserve ignorance or something like that. So it's all a phenomenal situation. Even in this situation uh, that you feel this inferiority, in fact, you feel you place yourself here so that you are really sure that you feel inferiority. I am in, inferior to those people who are richer than me, and I am right, just like that. And then after that, uh, multiplication comes, right? Uh, people who have a billion dollars, two billion dollars, couple of uh, billion dollars, yeah, a million, a billion dollars and so on. You And then you are in the purple of inferiority. Now, more and more, right? And then there's no situation like this. This is the uh, principle of democracy, if you will. And this person and this person are in parallel positions. However, this and this are still phenomenal and uh, there should be superior and inferior too. But you, when you understand the superiority and inferiority make one whole, then you understand this tegu, do, tao, okay? However, it's not uh, the usual phenomenon. Usually, so many people just misunderstand uh, this limitation. Limitation is that we are all in this kind of situation, it's thinking. We are restricted to thinking. It's the pr prison. We are the jailer in our own self, limited self, not the positive self though, but negative self mainly. So um, then what is the truth or tran real transcendence or true transcendence? It's the fundamental power that gives rise to these two different phenomena. And it of course means the distinction between it gives birth to the distinction between this and this in situation. We live in phenomena. Not only why not, I would say, but you should, and each and every one of us should lay judgment and discernment between this and this, good and evil, more and less, and, and so on and so forth. But we should, at the same time, realize the source, the fundamental source 
of, the, of all this, where all these things pop up. You can say it pop ups, uh, the phenomena pop ups from nowhere, but it's not. Uh, you should have some real wise uh, judgment. In other words, you have to use the wisdom, the source of wisdom. Now, let me show you the Avatamsaka Sutra uh, the, or the Flower Ornament Sutra. And it was summarized very nicely by uh, Ui Sang, a Korean famous, famous Korean uh, uh, Buddhist master, Ui Sang. Since Buddha nature is round and interpenetrating, law or the Dharma nature is round not square or something, but uh, it doesn't have any angle or or uh, so so and called so called inside or into something uh, phenomenal, but round. It's also the language, but round and interpenetrating. Yes, interpenetrating. I told you last time. Uh, the, the at, at the end of Jekyll and Hyde, uh, and also in every, in the end of every masterpiece of literature and film, good and evil are blurred. If good and evil are blurred, where <laughs> where do you have to stand? It's here. It is without any sign of duality, in yang duality. Then you have to go really beyond, above and beyond, beyond and above, or behind, or beneath, if you will, because it's the source. Now, all dharmas are unmoving, all truth, all uh, truth or one truth, the truth is unmoving. It doesn't mean it just stays like this. Oh, I'm not moving. No, it's moving, constantly moving uh, itself. And also it's constantly uh, moving and transforming yourself and others and whole, a whole lot of things in the whole universe. However, we cannot express it in language. That's why it says, comparing to all things that are transitory is unmoving. And also originally calm. So be as in the Bible, be still and know I am God. It means uh, in the style of Buddhism, be still and know you are God. I am the truth and I am the way. And that means I is the truth, okay? Because I is the manifestation or the transformation of the truth. I am the truth. In other words, I do this clapping. And this is the sound is not the truth in itself, but the truth is with it, with this, and it made this, so it formed this, and it is this. It's like the beginning of uh, uh, gospel John, gospel by John. It's, uh, in the beginning, there was word and the word was with God and the word was God, it's Jesus Christ. So we are all Jesus Christ, or uh, if you will, we are all small Jesus Christ. In other words, small truth. No name, no form. I'm not John or Jason, or James, or whosoever that is. Julie, you know, 
uh, no name, no form, no appearance. So uh, all or all distinctions are abolished there. No Jacob, no hide. It is known through the wisdom of enlightenment, not by any other level, which is phenomenal. So it's non-phenomenal, trans-phenomenal, and it's uh, over and beyond anything, thingness, or humanity, or humanness. So it's not, it's never limited to what is visible or even thinkable or perceivable. There is no transcendental signified. That's why people, uh, great thinkers these days are concentrating on the signifier as Lacan and Deleuze and uh, all the other people do. So Nancy and so on. Signifier, the chain of the signifier is moving and so on. So it's uh, the description is closer and closer to this truth. So um, Eastern thinking and Western way of thinking are very close today. But I still think uh, Western thinking is uh, should uh, go one step further to Buddhism. I'm not talking about Confucianism or uh, others, but Buddhism and Taoism. And also, uh, I'm not saying that in Buddhism and Taoism, there, there are uh, prayers doing like this. There are many, many people doing that, but I'm not talking about that. I'm not directing you to that kind of uh, extra things, which is unnecessary, but real, core of Buddhism and Taoism. And also it's, it's not only Buddhism and Taoism, it's Christian too. I just told you, I am the way. There means I, means the truth, Jehovah. So uh, it cannot be named. It can be named as Wayne Dyer said, and a whole lot of others also said, um, it can be called God, truth, transcendence, and uh, you name it, it's there. The trans, that's the true transcendence. It's right here, and it is this, but not this sound in itself as you feel, but it's there. Yeah. All things happen in transcendence. So emptiness is form, form is emptiness, as Har Sutra says. Thank you so much. I'll talk about this when I go on to explain other things too. Thank you very much. I'll see you again.